a quick new idea daily from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Do you think of a prison sentence as a punishment or an opportunity for rehabilitation? Maybe you've never thought about it this way before, but as societies evolve, shouldn't we ask ourselves what kind of prison experience enables a successful reintegration? Bailey Aaron is a social entrepreneur and consultant who's committed to providing resources that promote restorative practices in prisons. In today's talk, Billy looks at our modern incarceration systems and asks us to reconsider our approach to criminal justice. Unlike me, most of you probably don't Google prison every day. While it may seem like prisons have been around for a very long time, they're actually a pretty new concept. The establishment of the modern day prison, a secure criminal rehabilitation center, is only two centuries old from the 1800s although the theory underpinning these prisons is much older, dating back to a 2,500-year-old premise from Plato that we could both punish and reform at the same time. When you think about it, the notion that you can both punish and reform at the same time is slightly contradictory. It's like the classic carrot and stick argument, except suggesting that you can give people both the carrot and the stick together and achieve the same results. So it's not too surprising that Almost immediately after the first prisons were created to both punish and reform prisoners, a debate broke out among the general public about what was the right balance. The pro-punishment group argued that prisons were too soft. They should be harsher to punish prisoners for wrongdoing, for breaking the law, for harming victims, and deter them from committing future crimes. Scare them straight. Prisons should punish more. The pro-reform group argued the opposite. Prisons are too harsh. It's enough of a punishment to lose your freedom and be separated from society. Beyond that, prisons should be humane institutions of moral instruction and rehabilitation and should correct the behavior of prisoners so that once released, they'd be model citizens. Prisons should reform more. It's been nearly 200 years, yet as you can see, the debate on whether prisons should punish more or reform more really hasn't changed that much. I'm aware I've just presented quite a few numbers, so if you only remember one from this entire talk, I hope it's this next one, that nearly every prisoner, 99.9% .9 of them, will be released at the end of their sentence and will come back to society. So the question that that leaves us with is, what kind of prison experience do we want prisoners to have, given that they will be coming back? Noel is a Londoner, born in the 1960s. At the age of 14, while skipping school with a friend, Noel was picked up by the burglary squad, and despite not having done anything wrong, he was beaten up by them. Noel says that his anger at this injustice led him to throw himself into crime, into an all-out war, that resulted in him spending much of his adult life locked up behind bars in a series of UK prisons. I spoke to Noel about his prison experience. What was it like? What did prison do for him? At first, Noel said he was sent to prisons like Wandsworth, where the main focus was on punishment, deterrence, making prisoners suffer and feel remorse through shame and pain. As a result, Noel had plenty of time to self-reflect, and he spent it focusing on his hatred for authority. At Wandsworth, the prison staff and prisoners treated each other with contempt. There was no education or encouragement. Noel referred to the experience as a hate factory. I asked Noel what happened when he left Wandsworth. Did the harsh approach work? Noel said that Wandsworth was horrible. He never wanted to go back. But he and his fellow prisoners left Wandsworth bitter and resentful, without practical life skills for how to support themselves legally in the community. And the more he faced challenges, like trying to get a job or find housing, the angrier and more bitter he became, and the more he wanted payback against the authority system and the people who had treated him so poorly. 
All of this changed, however, when Noel was sent in the early 2000s to Grendon Prison. Grendon is unique as the only UK prison with the sole focus of reform, ensuring that prisoners receive the education, training, and stimulation to promote their successful reintegration back into society. Grendon operates on the principle of normality. Life on the inside of the prison reflects life on the outside. And prisoners are treated as people with the future potential to contribute. At Grendon, Noel said that he was listened to and made to feel safe. He spent it working on his problems and getting ready to make the significant life changes necessary in his life to ensure that he'd live a positive life once released and not recreate the same mistakes of his past. When Noel left Grendon, instead of leaving bitter, he left with hope. He felt that he had a chance. And not only did he not reoffend, but he went on to become the editor of a national newspaper and write six books. He pays taxes now and contributes positively to our society, the same as do you and I. For the collective good, are we ready to give up our desire for prisons that punish in favor of prisons that reform? Are we ready to build a reform prison system that is the benchmark for the rest of the world in effectively reducing reoffending? I think we're ready. So let's upgrade the standards of our prison system to a 21st century model for reforming people who've committed crime, rather than stagnate with a 2,500-year-old platonic concept. Bailey Aaron is the founder of Spark Inside, a London-based charity pioneering the use of professional coaching in prisons to promote rehabilitation and assistance from crime. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in London, England. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx London Business School. Want to listen to the full talk? Find Bailey's talk and more at TED.com slash TEDx Shorts. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you next time.